Morning everybody, Jason Hollis Farms. Turkeys has been whooping us, so let's talk about something else. I'm sitting in a new ride. I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna get out and show you all the outside. I, I'm in kind of a hurry, I gotta go to a ball game. I'm gonna show you all the outside in a little bit and then I'm gonna get back in here and while we're on the road, I'll talk about why I got this, why I went ahead and got it now and uh, talk a little bit about it. I really don't know hardly anything about it. it I, half this stuff in here I don't use and hadn't hardly been in it. But anyway, let's look at the outside and then we'll uh, talk about it a little bit. All right, so here we go. Toyota Tacoma TRD 4x4 Sport. Uh, this is a 2022. I'll tell y'all a little bit about that here in a minute. These things are so different. This is about all I used to drive years ago, and then I went to Dodge because I needed a big truck to work in. But they've changed a lot. I hadn't been in it a lot, like I said, but I really like it. Nice looking front end. Took a little while for that to grow on me, but I'm starting to like it. Nice headlights, fog lights, but y'all know that won't stay like that for long. Uh, I like the wheels, black wheels. I really like the white. I'd like thought about trying one of them new green ones, the army green type maybe that they got, but I saw this one. It's hard to find the long bed. And I'll talk about that in a little bit and access cab. That was a kind of a quick decision, but anyway, uh, of course it's got street tires on it. I like the step rails. They look nice, look good. TR, I wasn't necessarily, I could have been fine with a SR, SR5, whatever they call them, the, the lower packages, but uh, this just happened to be there, so I was in the mood, and the people selling was in the mood, too. Anyway, it's uh, this is a six-foot bed, maybe six-foot-two inches. The tailgate's got one of them spring-loaded deals in there, whatever, that makes it uh, go down slow. It's got a 110 there. I don't even know what's in here. Just a little cubby, maybe you could put a strap or something. Uh, of course, all the beds come now with whatever you call it, plastic. You don't need a rhino line them or nothing anymore. Got some tie downs up there. It's got some stuff in the back seat to, to uh, put tie downs on there. Them, them might be handy in time. But this thing is pretty much just white, white everywhere. It's got the V6 in it. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute too kind of the reasoning I went ahead and did what I did but I'm uh it's a little different a little kind of an in-between kind of where I've been between the Frontier and the Titan uh this long bed like I said I'm gonna talk about that that's the biggest reason for what I'm doing but nice looking truck all right we got to go to a ball game so I'm, while we're riding down the road we'll talk a little bit now not that it really matters but I'm gonna give you all a little reasoning behind what I did All right, before I get in, like I said, the outside white, as y'all can see, the inside, I guess you'd call it kind of brown, uh, brown uh, dark gray, kind of charcoal-like, not leather. I like the seats. I may do something with that, but I'm going to tell you what, these seats feel good. One reason I kind of thought about, and I really don't know much, much about the packages, but it, the seat had to be right or I couldn't get it. Uh, and it's got the lumbar button there, a little fancier than what I really wanted or needed it, but uh, it's going to work out. And I hadn't had a, I had an 01 Dodge that had this access cab door when, uh, years ago. But anyway, these seats fold down somehow or another, just like that. And that goes up, but I kind of, I kind of like what we got going on here. Uh, there's the little tie downs I think that go in the bed. There's a tag bracket that won't never use. It came with nice mats in it. I believe I'll probably just use them and not change them. Hadn't been in it much, but it don't take long just dragging your feet across to get dirty. But you know, that's it. They'll be fine. Uh, that's about it in the back. I like this. I think this will be fine for for what we're going to do. I don't know why that seat's down. Cody may have put that down, put his stuff on it. All right, let's get in it. We got to ride down the road. All right, little little quick overview, whatever you want to call it. Push button start. Oh, I already got a few things on the dash. A pair of sunglasses that I don't ever wear and a hat. Oh, it's warming up. Turn now. I hadn't learned how to use all of this yet. Four wheel drive right here. 
Uh, I like the map system. I played with that a little bit where I don't have to fool with my phone. I can punch it in there. Oh, it's got, it had 23 miles on it. I explained that a little bit. It's got 185 on it now. Getting 21.4 miles of the gallon right now, like it sits. I'm liking that. Of course, it's got cruise control and all this mess here. I don't know nothing about yet. Cup holder right there. Two cup holders down there. It's got a deal down there that I'm going to use for junk, but you can also charge your phone there. Two cup holders right there. Console, emergency brake. Glove box, basic, basic stuff. Basic stuff. I gotta get this on. I opened my door last night, my lights didn't come on like that. It's got a little SOS thing. If you don't have any service or something, have a wreck or need some assistance, push that button. Oh, uh, yeah. So far, so good. Temperature, I always usually keep my miles per gallon up there. I'm, I just like watching that to see what I wanna get. Uh, but I don't know, it's got all kind of all kind of stuff that I don't have a clue what it is yet. I mean, all kind of stuff. There's your miles per hour right there. 331 miles. I don't even know how big a tank's on it yet. But anyway, all right, let's get down the road. I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit. All right, so I jumped out real quick. There's one thing that has to be on our dash. It's toilet paper. All right, so on the road headed to a ball game headed north so uh let's uh talk a little bit why i did what i did um i have really enjoyed the titan i like the titan it's comfortable for my back that's a big thing i can sit down and drive that thing to california and uh be good it's getting a pretty good many miles on it now uh not too many miles but a pretty good many miles and then uh, the Frontier, I like the Frontier. That thing, for some reason, and that's that Pro 4X or whatever, but that thing kills my back to drive it. So, uh, so I've been kind of tossing up what I wanted to do. I'm always thinking about it, because I put a lot of miles on one. But I have had the, uh, let's see, the Titan is a 19, and the, Frontier was a 15, but anyway, I didn't use the Frontier just a whole lot the whole time I had it, but I, we, we run the Titan a lot of miles, but anyway, uh, so I got to study, and uh, I was thinking about a Tundra, I, I, the two, the big two things I did not like about the Nissan is, that I had, nothing wrong with the Nissan, I did not like the Welcome to Mississippi. I did not like the short bed on either one of them. Even with the deck system, toppers on both of them. I mean, it was okay, but I just wanted to do different this time. So, uh, I was thinking about getting that the Tundra with the extended cab, access cab like this and a long bed. I got studying on it because I know a lot of people, my dad's got... Uh, I think his has got 350, 400,000 miles on it, but, and I just kind of got to thinking, hang on just a second. So I got to thinking, I said, I just kind of wanted to do something a little different. I like the Toyota, that Lexus has got, it's basically a Toyota, got that V8 in it, and I said, wasn't just too concerned with gas mileage, because don't none of them get real good. I said, I'm gonna start checking on a Tundra. And I wasn't really in no hurry to get anything, honestly, because I hate cleaning one out. I mean, I have basically lived in that Titan and had so much in it, even though I've been hunting in the Lexus. And uh, so I got to check it on the Tundras. Well, they have changed the engine in that thing, like everything else. They get rid of the good stuff. I say good stuff. Maybe this new deal will be good too. But that other, at least they, I wish they at least had the option on the other, but I don't, pretty sure they don't. You know, it had that V8, basically the same V8 that's in the Lexus. But I think it may be aluminum headed now or something. But anyway, put a lot of miles on it. Well, now they got that, I think it's like twin turbo six cylinder in the tundra and i thought dad gone i don't want to be the guinea pig on that so if i'd have kind of known that was going to happen i might have done it a little earlier even though i didn't want to do it now really so i said well i might try me a tacoma uh, 
I do not want a truck like this to be my only truck. I bought that Dodge in 16 and sitting there, don't use it a lot, but when I need to pull something, it's there, but I don't want to drive it every day. So I said, well, let's start checking on Tacoma. So I started YouTubing and this and that, Tacomas and all, I've always liked them. I just, nothing wrong with the Nissan. I just kind of wanted to do something a little different this time. And uh, so I got to studying on the Tacomas in 24, they're gonna go to a, like, I think it's like a twin turbo four cylinder, which the old four cylinder, it's a bad dude, but I, them are hard to come by now. And the trucks have gotten so big, the little trucks have gotten so big for the little four cylinder. But anyway, so I got studying on that. And I said, golly. So 23 was the last year they was gonna have this regular aspirated or whatever you wanna call it, V6 in it. So the Tacomas in 24 are gonna go to that twin turbo four cylinder, which if it works, it'll be right. I believe the gas miles will be better and it's gonna have some horsepower. And that's one thing about this Toyota. I just go ahead and tell you this V6 and I ain't put but a hundred and something miles on it. It don't have near the power that that Frontier six cylinder's got. That Frontier six cylinder is bad. But anyway, I'm not worried about that. I just want to ride down the road. Like I said, if we want to pull something big, whatever, we got to dodge. So I said, golly. So we're right here in the middle of turkey season. I wasn't going to do it during turkey season because I just, that's what I like to do is turkey hunting. I was concentrating on turkey hunting. But anyway, uh, I said, golly, I'm going to have to get me a 23 or two, whatever, before they swap these engines. And they're getting harder to find, and I'm sure they're making less or whatever because they're finna come out with this whole new deal. I think it's gonna be a new body style and all, which that don't matter to me. I just want something that lasts. So, uh, I was, uh, we went to eat the other night, and I was kinda early, still daylight. I told C says, let's ride up there to Toyota place. And I go by there some, but not much. It's kinda a little out of my direction, but we'll ride by there once in a while. I mean, like most places, you ain't got anything like I want. Most everything you see is the four-door, five-foot bed. I wasn't gonna have another five-foot bed. I'd rather have a regular cab with a long wheelbase than a four-door to five-foot bed. But anyway, that's just me. So uh, we rode up there, and I could see it from the road. I said, there it is right there. And uh, what we're sitting in, uh, access cab, which that didn't really matter. Nobody ever rides with me but Cody. If we go in this or whatever, nobody in the back seat because I always got so much junk in it. I said, that'll be enough room for junk. And then we got the long bed to make up for that. So uh, went back there, that that was on whatever day or weekend. And uh, at night or after they closed and went by, back by there on Monday or Tuesday and kind of put a deal together. Actually, I traded the Frontier and the Titan to get into this and uh, Ever ha whatever happened, it was it's a 22 and not a 23, but that didn't have a 23 miles on it. It sat at a dealership, went somehow. Anyway, they ended up and they called it used, but 23 miles ain't too. It's got 193 on it now. It's not too used, but anyway, I am. We put a deal together that satisfied me and satisfied them, and so far I'm pretty happy. I'm not sure what all I'm gonna do to it. Uh, I'm actually going to check on the first thing that I am going to do for sure right now. I'm um, uh, not sure what all I'm going to do to it. don't know if I'm going to lift it. No, I'm just not sure uh, what gas mileage it is getting right now. I may decide to try to keep and I may finish it out what I'm going to do and get what weight's going to be added or whatever before I do any tires or, or lift or anything like that. But I like it and... Uh, I told somebody, you know, the other day, I said, it's just a truck. And I don't mean that wrong, but it, that's what it is. It's just a truck, a tool. Uh, I kind of uh, more look at trucks these days as a tool. I want it to do what I want to do and get done what I want to get done in it. And uh, I want something that's going to last. I mean, I just want something because I, I don't like trade. Uh, I like, y'all know I like trucks and building stuff and playing, but... Uh, my main truck here like this is gonna be. I just, 
I just don't want to get all my junk in them. I don't want to get rid of them. But I think it's going to be fine. I'm going to figure out what all we're going to do. It's got the steps on it, so I ain't got to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to do a few things to it. Some things I've done to the others, I'm not sure if I'm going to do yet. But uh, I'll update y'all as we, as we do that. But I like it. Uh, it rides good. Uh, of course, it's got these little tires on it. But they're smooth, and like I said, I've noticed it, it right off the bat. And I've done been told I had a buddy or two that bought one and uh, got rid of them because it didn't have no power. If uh, if I wanted something power, I'd get a big truck, V10, big diesel, something. We got we got the Dodge. We want power, so I'm not worried about that. I just want to get from point A to point B at a pretty decent speed and uh, last and stay together. And, decent gas mileage I'm, I'm very happy with this gas mileage I may not ever put big tires on it never had one hardly that I didn't but you know I'm, I'm not saying I'm past that stage usually if I put big tires on one it's uh, for use but uh, anyway yeah 2022 Tacoma V6 so hope it lasts we'll dial it up a little bit and just more like I said it's just a tool and we're gonna get it to uh get it to where we want it and how we want to use it a lot of things i do a lot of people don't like but uh or do to theirs which i don't care i'm it's me driving it and uh, i'm gonna make it usable for what we want to do for the dogs for hunting possibly camping whatever i got some pretty good ideas i'm wanting to play with i just got a, one first thing i'm going to check on right now and uh that's a for sure thing. I just got to figure out exactly what I want. But anyway, as we do some stuff, I'll keep y'all updated. And uh, maybe the turkeys will quit kicking our butt and I can get some content out. That's the biggest reason I hadn't been posting every day. It's just the turkey's been so crazy. Uh, just really hadn't had nothing to put out. But anyway, thought I'd show y'all this truck. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.